hi the people how are you doing so i just want to say long time no see because the last week or so has been pretty barren in terms of my videos and yeah that's because we had this utterly mortifying exam and it was horrible it's been torturing me for two and a half years now but yeah i, I don't want to talk about it it's it's over so today we have the note 20 ultra versus the s20 plus and you know just for a hundred dollars more we're getting quite an upgraded camera system on the note 20 ultra because we have a 108 megapixel sensor a very large sensor and we're also getting the 5x periscope zoom camera and overall i'd say we're getting a lot of camera hardware along with that we also have the laser autofocus system which as i had shown in my previous comparison with the oneplus 8 pro the Note 20 Ultra does not have any autofocusing issues whatsoever. We'll be testing it out today as well. So let's get into it without any further ado. All right, first image and yeah, no difference whatsoever, at least in first glance. I think there's this like little bit more highlight preservation on the Note 20 Ultra, but other than that, for all instances and purposes, I think this is a tie. Okay, let's move on to the next image. And here, once again, no difference whatsoever. I mean, let's face it. Both are basically top tier flagships and I don't think in good daylight images you'll be noticing any difference at all. But moving on to this ultra wide image, here I think there are a few differences. The S20 Plus is overexposing quite a bit actually. You can see in the sky a lot of the details and clouds, they're all gone. And the Note 20 on the other hand is doing a far better job in terms of keeping the highlights in check. Of course it doesn't have as much shadow detail as the S20 but overall I'm gonna go with the Note 20 here. Now for this one, once again, it's a good daylight image and there's almost no difference whatsoever. Because you can see the S20 and Note 20 both have fantastic colors, the details are good, the dynamic range obviously amazing. I'd say the Note 20 does look a little bit more natural in terms of the color tones but other than that, I don't think there's any other noticeable difference here. Now here we have the higher resolution images, 64 megapixels on the S20. And as if that wasn't enough, we have 108 megapixels on the Note 20 Ultra. And that obviously leads to a lot of processing being taken over and the dynamic range, it takes a massive hit on the Note 20 as you can see. The S20 not as bad but still I'd say the dynamic range would be better on both of them if we take the normal 12 megapixel images. And case in point, it does. The overall colors even look quite a bit better. I do think the Color tones of the Note 20 are once again a little bit more natural, but other than that, I'd say overall both of them look fantastic. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Now, here's where the differences really shine because we have once again a higher resolution 64 megapixel image on the S20, and the 64 megapixel sensor on the S20, it just cannot focus on closer objects. As you can see, it didn't even try. The Note 20 Ultra, on the other hand, it does a fantastic job. It didn't even have to hunt for focus, it just locked on and stayed locked on. It's fantastic. That autofocusing, it just works so damn well on the Note 20 now. On the S20, however, you have to take quite a few steps back and only then does the subject come into focus. And at that point, really, it doesn't look as good, not even close to as good with those delicious bokeh balls on the Note 20. I mean, the S20 doesn't even come close. Now for this ultra wide angle image, here the Note 20 Ultra is overexposing a little. Well, I shouldn't say overexposing, but its exposure is a little bit higher, which actually gives it a ton more shadow detail as you can see. The S20 Plus, on the other hand, I think that the colors are not as natural as good looking in my opinion, and the shadows are obviously not as good as a Note 20. But where the S20 Plus does take the upper hand is in the highlight preservation, just a little bit up there in the clouds as you can see. The highlights are just a little bit better preserved, but otherwise I'm going for the Note 20 here. But when we go to the normal 1x zoom shot, here I'd say the S20 is actually doing a slightly better job. We have better shadows on the S20, while the Note 20 Ultra is now managing the highlights a little bit better. But once again, the shadow detail overall, it looks a lot more pleasing in my opinion on the S20 Plus, which is why for the 1x zoom shot, I'm actually going with the S20 here. Now once again, for this image, almost no difference whatsoever. The colors, the dynamic range overall, they look very similar. I'd say I think there's like a tad bit more detail on the Note 20, but otherwise, I'd say it's a tie. But the moment we move on to 5x zoom on both, well, there a lot of differences are seen because the S20, yeah, sure, it has a 64 megapixel sensor to crop into, but 
inevitably there is going to be a lot of artifacting and overall over sharpening which is completely negated on the Note 20 Ultra because it's got optical zoom up to 5x and that makes a huge difference as you can see. Another standard focal length shot and once again there's almost no difference whatsoever. But the moment we move on to the optical zooms, well optical zoom on the Note 20 Ultra at 5x but 3x is the minimum default zoom you could say on the S20 Plus. It's actually cropping in once again and yeah both of them do look very nice but of course the Note 20 Ultra can get a lot closer. Now we have 10x zoom on both and fantastic on the Note 20 Ultra. I mean the S20 Plus it doesn't even stand a chance. Just look at that crisp detail overall. It's fantastic. Now moving on to 20 times zoom and I'd say here the Note 20 Ultra also starts to fall apart a little with a lot of grain and a little bit of over sharpening as well but it is still miles better than the S20 Plus at least. Now here once again both of them look very similar overall, the colors and everything. But the only difference that I can see is the Note 20 Ultra has a lot more background separation and background bokeh as you can see because the Note 20 Ultra sensor is quite a bit bigger than the S20 Plus after all. Now moving indoors with Valentine as a subject obviously, well here I'd say that initially I thought the S20 Plus had a little bit more detail but the moment I cropped in a little bit I saw that the Note 20 is actually giving us a lot more natural feathers. The S20 Plus on the other hand is over sharpening the crap out of them. Also the dynamic range as you can see on the chair in the background it is a little bit better on the Note 20. So for these two reasons I'm going with the Note 20 for this one. Now this is a backlit shot and well obviously it's a harsh lighting condition but Definitely the Note 20 is doing a far better job. Just take a look at those feathers. You can almost see every single one separated. While the S20 Plus it's smudging up the details almost completely and that's not exactly ideal. Now before we move on to portraits and selfies, let's take a look at this. Higher resolution images on both and I don't know what it is about the Note 20 but it looks fantastic. While the S20 Plus, it's smudging up almost all the details overall. It's just not as good. The 64 megapixel sensor, it's not doing the S20 Plus any favors whatsoever. The Note 20 is obviously the one taking the upper hand here. Now for a first selfie, no differences whatsoever. I mean, at least I couldn't find anything worthwhile. So I'm just gonna call this a tie and let's move on. Now for this portrait selfie, well, I'd say that both of them look good overall. But if you look at the side of my face, you can see there is some kind of an artifact going on over there and I think it's because the edge detection didn't work perfectly but the Note 20 Ultra on the other hand it's actually doing a far better job in terms of doing the edge detection so for that reason I'm going with the Note 20 Ultra for this one. As for rare portraits well both of them once again look very nice but there are two reasons why I'm picking the Note 20 Ultra over the S20. Firstly, the lens flare on the S20 is nowhere to be seen on the Note 20 so it's nice to see that the lens flares are handled a little bit better on the Note 20. As for the overall details and noise reduction, I'd say the Note 20 is doing a far better job. My face has a lot more details while my shirt, it looks a lot less grainy. So overall, the Note 20 does take a massive win. Now this is a portrait image at 2 times zoom and I don't know what the hell happened with the Note 20 because it's making me look very yellow and warm, the skin looks weird, so I'm gonna go with the S20, no questions asked. Even though there is a little bit of edge detection issue on the S20 as you can see right beside my face. Now let's check out some night mode because let's admit it, that's where the real fun begins. And first and foremost as you can see, both of them look nice but the Note 20 Ultra is clearly the better one because not only is there much better highlight control overall, the sky looks so much better. It's very clean and the noise reduction is doing a fantastic job. There's zero artifacting and overall a much better picture on the Note 20. Here, once again, initially the subject looks very nice on both but the sky is again very artifacty on the S20 and overall I am definitely going to pick the Note 20 for this one. Alright now, taking an image with 5x zoom in night mode and holding the damn camera still for 5-6 seconds, it's insane, let me tell you. I had to take at least like 5-6 to six images only then did I get a barely sharp image. And yeah, obviously the Note 20 looks a lot better. It's got optical zoom so obviously it's going to look miles better than the S20 because 
I don't think I have to even say just how much grain, noise, and post-processing artifacting is there on the S20. The Note 20 takes a clear win on this one. Now for this ultra-wide angle shot, the Note 20 is noticeably brighter than the S20, but it's also got way less noise. Because, well, let's face it, going from the normal camera to the ultra-wide is always going to affect the image quality, and the S20 Plus does have a lot more noise than even its previous images. The Note 20 on the other hand, it looks basically perfect, and that's really impressive if you ask me. Another ultra-wide image, and same story here, basically, the S20 Plus is a lot darker, it's got a lot more noise, and it's almost surprising because the S20 Plus took somewhere around 7 to 8 seconds of exposure. At that large amount of exposure, I'd expect a little bit better image quality if you ask me. The Note 20 on the other hand, it took around 5 seconds and is given such a good image. It really goes to show how much the night mode overall has been improved. But when we moved on indoors and took this night mode shot of Valentine, well, here the S20 is actually doing a better job as you can see. It's a lot brighter, the colors are better overall. I'd say that the S20 is quite easily taking the win for this one. But then the moment we dimmed the lights a little bit more and took a night mode shot, it took almost 5 seconds on both of them, but clearly the Note 20 is doing a far better job. The overall brightness, the detail levels, everything looks so so much better than the S20. It's a clear win for the Note 20 on this one. So that is a wrap for this camera comparison and clearly the Note 20 Ultra's camera is a lot more capable in terms of overall image quality. I mean there has been improvements almost across the board and I really like that Samsung is moving away from their over-processed and slightly over-sharpened images and moving towards the much more natural images with much more natural color renditions overall and it's in my opinion at least a really nice way to go. I like vibrant images but Samsung sometimes does it a little bit too much. It's nice to see that they're moving away from that. And the night mode is amazingly improved. As you saw almost every single image was better on the Note 20 and that too for a little less exposure time and that really shows that the night mode algorithm has been taken by a few leaps forward at least. So overall, definitely, I think the Note 20 Ultra is more than worth it for the extra $100, like even if you were to consider just in terms of cameras. Of course, we haven't tested out video yet. We will be coming out with that video soon, so do hit the subscribe button, drop a like if you enjoyed, and I will be seeing you guys later. Cheers.